This is the Nursing Theorist presentation by Michaela Troutman. Today I'll be discussing Jean Watson's Philosophy and Science of Caring in Humanistic Nursing. To start, I will tell you a little bit about Jean Watson. She was born on June 10th in 1940. She grew up in a small town in West Virginia. She got her RN in 1961, her bachelor's in 1964, a master's in psychiatric and mental health nursing in 1966, and her PhD in educational psychology and counseling in 1973. Watson developed her theory in 1978. A few interesting facts about Jean Watson are that she is an author. She has published several books. Um, one of them is about her theory. She has six honorary degrees, including an international honorary doctorate and an honorary doctor of sciences in nursing. Jean created the Watson Caring Science Institute to help with the spread of her nursing theory and ideas. Watson feels that caring is the center of nursing practice. Within her theory, she created the 10 carative factors. The theory is basically based around the 10 carative factors. She feels that the holistic approach is the center of caring in nursing. She views altruism, sensitivity, trust, and interpersonal skills essential to her theory as well. There are four major concepts to Watson's theory, them being the human being, health, environment and society, and nursing. She also feels the health promotion and treatment of illness are important, as well as using ADPI in developing care plans for each individual client. Within her theory, there are the seven assumptions. These seven assumptions lead to the 10 carative factors. These seven assumptions are interpersonal, human needs, health and individual family growth, client acceptance, client involvement in care, curing, and caring being central to nursing, once again. So the 10 carative factors, starting with one, which is forming altruistic value systems, which these are ba um, based off of the nurse's life experiences, two, instilling hope and faith, Three, sensitivity to self and others. Four, developing a helping trust relationship with the client and family. Five, promotion of expressing feelings, whether it be the, the client's feelings or the client's family's feelings. Six, the use of problem solving. Seven, promote teaching and learning. Eight, promote promote a supportive environment, nine, assisting with gratification of human needs. Watson feels that each need is equally important to the other, 10, allow existential phenomenological forces, which means helping the client find strength and achieve their needs um, and goals, whatever those may be. Ways that you could use Watson's theory in nursing practice include active listening, view the client for who they are and not their disease or illness, keep an open mind, involve the client in their care, show support for the client and their family, create a care plan, help the client heal and achieve their goals, and keep a positive environment. In conclusion, Watson's theory is based around caring. This is all why she created the 10 carative factors to help guide a nurse provide the most um, 
empathetic care possible to the client and their family. My two questions are, one, what do the 10 carative factors mean to you? And two, what other ways might a nurse or a student nurse use Watson's philosophy and science of caring and humanistic nursing theory in their practice? And here's my work cited. Thank you.